Yes, uh, talking about the fourfold Buddhist communities. The fourfold Buddhist communities were established from the Buddha's time. There were the Pikus, Pikunis. Pikus means monks, and uh, Pikunis would be female monks. We have to say that, and then uh, lay men and lay women. These are the four groups of Buddhists that the Buddha expected that they would continue the teaching into the future. And uh, first time, you know, when he was enlightened, and the Mara, the Mara was something like a Satan, you know, uh, came to him and asked the Buddha that now that he was already enlightened, maybe he can consider passing away. The Buddha said, not yet not until I establish these fourfold Buddhist communities. So after that, after 45 years, towards the end of the Buddha's life, the Mara appeared the second time, reminding the Buddha that now your fourfold Buddhist communities are well established. So it's a confirmation from the mouth of the Mara that the fourfold Buddhist communities were well established, that the monks could teach well, the Pikunis also can teach well that now the Buddha should consider again passing away. That was the first, that was the time when the Buddha accepted invitation. And three months after that, he decided to pass away. So, so uh, this piece of information is very interesting. Very interesting because it was confirmed by the Mara that the fourfold Buddhist communities were established, were well established. And uh, there was yet another conversation with another monk. His name was Gimpila. Gimpila asked the Buddha, what would be in the future, what would be, if, the, if Buddhism was going to decline, what would be the reason? That the Buddha said that uh, if the fourfold Buddhist communities, if they don't respect Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, they don't respect to study, and they don't respect each other, then Buddhism will decline. So this is uh, recorded in the text, you know, from the Buddha's own mouth. So Buddhism does not depend on bhikkhus only, or bhikkhunis only, but together the four groups of Buddhist communities must be aware that the responsibilities are on our shoulder together. If you can be fully enlightened, you know, so an enlightened person can be male, female, Pikus or Pikunis. You know, this is a very beautiful part of the teaching that is accessible to everyone. It is the condition of the mind that it is, you are completely free from the bindings to defilements. Uh, if it is our spiritual goal we aim to achieve, I think that is, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Whether you can achieve or not, at least you know the path, you know the goal. We must have this goal. We must have this goal. All of us always talk about, oh, how can we free ourselves from suffering? Well, here is a path. Whatever we do, see the quality of the mind, that the quality of the mind is light, is broadened, is beautiful. Just check on the quality of the mind. Here is a teaching of the Buddha, and all of us can practice, and all of us can be enlightened. So beautiful.